Hey everybody, Autobot John here, and I'm bringing you my latest custom. This is my 1/6 scale custom Ghost Rider. Not Rider, not that little bouncing ball, but Ghost Rider. Um, pretty simple figure to explain. Everything up here is pretty much custom made. Um, let me explain. The chain, his weapon, is a real chain. I found it at Michael's. And this part right here is from the 12-inch uh, uh, Ghost Rider movie figure that came with the bike. My friend gave it to me. I repainted it more silver, and then I glued it to the actual chain. So it's really connected. Um, it's a very long chain. I've got it wrapped around him pretty much, so it's very nice. He's got a, a Terminator 2 leather jacket on him. Um, I was gonna, I'm was i going to go in and add spikes to it later on, but right now I don't have the time. Uh, he's got leather pants on. The boots are repainted and got some tape around them to give him a little bit of design. Then paint, spray painted black. Uh, Star Wars sideshow boots. I believe they were Han Solo boots that I, like I said, added details and painted them. The gloves are just black gloves um, that I basically took Sculpty and added silver spikes to them. Um, these are glove, I mean, uh, boots that I cut, added the silver spikes with Sculpty. These make his wrist uh, gauntlets. Uh, same on the other side, very poseable. Um, the chest is uh, basically it's a dragon body that I painted orange, uh, kind of like he's on fire. And if you look real close, his neck is engulfed in flames. Um, so when you cover him up with the coat, it looks like he's got flames sticking out. Um, the head is what I'm very proud of because this head... I sculpted it myself. Um, he's got, uh, it's basically on a dragon body, like I said. Um, it's a skull with uh, as much detail as I could put the teeth, the nose, the eyes. He's got red eyes, like fiery red eyes. Um, he's got uh, fire behind his teeth, uh, under him. His uh, head is engulfed in flames. This is all one sculpt um, that I dremeled a hole in the bottom of it for the neck and then placed it on the dragon body. But if you look at it, it doesn't look like it. I mean, it looks like it's attached. So uh, it can look, it, he can look up, down, to the side. Uh, he's still very poseable. Um, I colored the flames in to make them look more, you know, flamey, I guess is what you call them. He's very, very flexible, very poseable. Um, he's a very cool addition to my figures. He's pretty much the spirit of vengeance. Ghost Rider. Um, and if I get a chance, I'm going to make a Nicholas... I've got a Nicholas Cage head that I've never used. And I'm going to make a Nicholas Cage version of this figure uh, to you know represent when he was not Ghost Rider. But... Uh, I'm very happy with this figure, um, and it proves what people can do. If you really, if you really want a figure bad enough, and you don't have the money to buy the very expensive one, which, to be honest, I don't like the Medicom version of uh, or the Hot Toys version of Ghost Rider. I thought it was crappy, to be honest. He's too small, uh, and a lot. And Ghost Rider is one of my favorite Marvel characters because he's the darker of them. So I thought his figure needed to be a little, you know, better. So I, I did what I could to make mine better, or as close to what I wanted. So, you know, I don't care what everybody else wants. This is what I want a Ghost Rider to look like. So, anyway, that's him. And the stand's pretty cool, too, because in the movie, when he first turns into Ghost Rider for the first time, when he was walking, he left uh, his, his uh, footprints were on fire. So I've got him kind of like he's walking, and you can see his footprints where the flames are and everything. It's kind of like a dirty stage he's on, so it, that's pretty cool. I like that. Plus, uh, it fell down. I have to fix it. But this chain right here on the side, it actually goes up 
and it wraps around him here, but the piece broke off and I gotta fix it. But that represents this chain he wears around his jacket. And like I said, I'll go back and add the spikes, or I may just leave him like this because he didn't actually have the spikes all the way through the movie. Um, but anyway, like I said, I'm very happy with this figure, and it proves that if you really want something bad enough, and if you got the time, you, you can make one. You don't always have to go expensive to make a really good figure. But anyway, leave me feedback, guys. Let me know what you think. You're pissing me off. And the next thing I got to do with this figure is I got to make a um, shotgun that has, like, skeleton parts on it and I gotta make a dark uh dark heart to go with him. Be kinda cool. He's he needs a bike. <laughs> I just realized that. Later guys.